name, blessed be your name, be lifted I be glorified. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ancient of days, we give you praise, we give you glory. We give you praise, we give you glory. Be magnified, O oh God. Be exalted, King of glory. Be exalted. Nama zepa handa brodo ita brada sita gabaha. Ma sita brodo ita brada sita gabranda anda ta. Ma zegederi anda brodo ita brada sita gabaha. Let's just open our mouth and just pray in the Holy Ghost for a while. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost for a while. Baha, Prodo, Ita, Bahanda, Ma, Ze, Za, 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 Za. Parida, Zegedeli, Anda, Prodo, Ita, Bahanda, Tabra, De, Ida, Parida, Seke, Ke, Ke, Ke. Ma, Zuta, Bahanda, Tabrodo, Ita, Brada, Ida, Bahanda. Ma, Ze, Za, Ze, Za, Ze, Za, Ze, Za, Ze, Za, Ze, Za. Bahanda, Brodo, Ita, Bahanda, Tabra, De, Ida, Bahanda. Ma, Ze, Gedeli, Anda, Tabrodo, Ita, Brada, Sita, Gabaha. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we celebrate you, Jesus we celebrate you, Jesus. Ma seke bahanda brodo ita brade sita gabaha. Ma zeza 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 zeza. Parida zuta gabranda ida bahanda tha. Ma zege deri anda brodo ita brade sita gabaha. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be magnified, O oh God. Thank you. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Be magnified, O oh God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You uh welcome to apostolic grace broadcast this beautiful monday morning we are broadcasting live from the beautiful city of abuja praise the name of the lord you are welcome amazingly it is raining at this my at my end here yeah? i don't know if it's raining at your end glory to god you know the ra rains are a symbol or uh, yeah a symbol or signification of the blessing of God and the abundance of God <laughs> amen praise God anytime there is rain there is comfort there is new life uh, basically you know when rain falls upon the earth it blesses the earth and the earth begins to grow and um, multiply and um, bless you know uh, humanity and so I am trusting God while this rain is going, and the Lord is raining blessings upon your life. Praise the name of the Lord. God's blessing is upon you because of the rain. And now, you know, we can't stop rain. We can't pray it away because we are in August. <laughs> and August is a time when we have rain, uh, especially in this part of the world. I don't know uh, all that, but I know about this part of the world. We have a lot of rain and all of that so uh, because it's falling rain is falling now believe god for rain abundant rain super abundant rain yeah super abundant rain now i have a word for you this morning and that word is from uh, genesis chapter 1 actually verse 22 and 28 the bible says and god blessed them and said to them be fruitful you know i, I love to teach about I speak about the blessing and fruitfulness and multiplication because that is our father's intention for us now now listen to it jesus said somewhere in luke he said you earthly fathers when your child asks you for a bread you don't give that child a stone all right he said which of you if your son shall ask you for an egg you will give that child a scorpion he said, if you earthly fathers think like that, 
How much more your heavenly father who will give you every good gift. It means that God is so generous. God is super, super generous to give us all things. And the Bible says that he has given unto us all that pertains to life and godliness. But then somebody will ask, but why am I still poor? Why can't I see meet my need? Why can't I just, even if I have to get by now? The part of God is that, thank you, Father. He has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Are you still there? He has put this blessing on us. The enemy cannot unput it, if that English is correct. The enemy cannot remove it. You see, there is something amazing about the blessing. Genesis chapter 12, God spoke to Abraham. I will bless you. I make you a blessing. Something you will, there's something you will find out in that statement is that Abraham is not only going to be blessed. Thank you, Father. Abraham will become a blessing. The implication is this, that the blessing of Abraham becomes transgenerational, humanly speaking. But guess what? What God was actually saying in that verse, that the blessing I'm bringing upon Abraham is an eternal blessing. I took a pause for you to digest that eternal blessing. How come it is eternal? I'll show you. When God proclaimed that blessing upon Abraham, and Abraham began to walk on the path that God has set before him. And then Abraham believed God for a child for upward of 25 years. And God told him, I'm going to give you a son. A child shall come out of your loins, not the one from Agar, no, not Ishmael. Ishmael too will be blessed. But Isaac, who shall come from you through Sarah, your legal wife, shall be blessed. And nations of the earth, through that, shall receive the blessing. Now, when Paul was explaining this in Romans chapter 4 also, he said, God speaking about the seed, one seed, that will come and bring the blessing of Abraham upon nations of the world, upon tribes and tongues. I'm just paraphrasing scripture. These are a lot of, a lot of scriptures that I'm trying to paraphrase. And then, that this seed that shall come, because specifically, the truth is it, God was not speaking about Isaac per se. God was speaking about Jesus to Abraham. But at that time, Abraham couldn't fathom Jesus. Who is Jesus? Okay. So I'm going to give you a son. Who is going to be a replica or a typology of my son that I'm sending? To be a blessing upon the earth. <laughs> All right. Now, so when Jesus appeared on the scene, listen, pay attention. While Abraham lived, the blessing was his own. There was nobody to carry the blessing over. When Isaac appeared, became he was born, and then he began to have children. He had two sons, Esau and Jacob. Then the blessing was struck. Listen, pay attention. The blessing, thank you, Father. Thank you for your blessing. Listen, my friend, if you can understand this, you will understand and you will come to the reality of the amazing blessing that God is bringing to us or that God has prepared for us. All right? Now, so, the blessing became multiplied on Jacob. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I'm so excited about this. Thank you, Father. Now, let me read these scriptures. Let's go. I will go to that first, um, sorry, Genesis chapter 2 and 28, and 22 and verse 28. But let me go first and foremost to Genesis chapter 12. Thank you, Father. 
Oh, thank you, Father. I didn't know the Holy Ghost was going to take me this way. Oh, wow. I will have really prepared myself. You know, the Holy Ghost is such an amazing teacher. An amazing teacher. He wants us to understand. He wants us to walk in the reality of these things. Now, look at Now, the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee. You see, I will bless thee. You are blessing you. And make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. All right. Now, if you now jump to Genesis 25, let's go there. Genesis 25. 25, verse 5. Look at it. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, his son, his legitimate son. Gave everything that he had to him. All right. Now, Abraham, sorry, Isaac now began to live in the blessing. The blessing of his father or the blessing from his father. Not that he worked for anything, basically. Everything was prepared for him and was given to him. All right. Now, if you go to Genesis 27, Father, thank you. Genesis 27, I guess verse 25. Let's see it together. Now, this is when Jacob supplanted his brother and took the the venison that Isaac, his father, requested for. And here was Isaac proclaiming the blessing of Abraham that was given to him upon Jacob. Now, verse 25. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. Now, look at when, when it, um, Isaac was going to bless Jacob. This is powerful. Now, 28, 27. And he came near and kissed him. And he smelled and, and he smelled and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the son, the smell of my son is at the smell of each of a field whom the Lord has blessed. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. The Lord be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. So, this was the blessing that Jacob received from Isaac, his father. All right. Let's call the story short, short. Now, after this, Jacob ran away from his brother Esau, because brother Esau was planning to kill him. So, he ran away. He went to Padanaram to stay with his uncle for 20 years. Within these 20 years, Jacob labored. So that's why I want to say to you today, your labor now, no matter what labor, that frustrating labor, that tiring labor that you are going through now, listen to me, it is not for waste. It is for a purpose. There will be joy at the end of that labor. There will be blessing at the end of that labor. There will be prosperity at the end of that labor. By the 28th year, when Jacob prepared to go back home, to return home, even though Laban did not want him to go, God visited him. The Lord God of heaven, he will visit you this week. Say amen. The Lord God of heaven, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he will visit you this week. I'm so sure of that. You know why? Not because of me, but because the Bible says so. Amen. As you go today and this week, the blessing of God is upon you, you are going to enjoy the visitation of God. All right. And so God showed Jacob a dream in the night. And then that dream prospered Jacob. You read that from Genesis chapter 30 up to 31 and, and in the uh, earlier, early part of uh, 32. And God prospered him that he became more prosperous than Laban, his master, in one year. That's a blessing. Now, the blessing now began to multiply. Now, listen, let me at this point read Genesis chapter 1 and 22. Let me explain something to you there. Look at it. And God blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply. Now, all throughout the lives of Abraham and Isaac, they were, they were just fruit, being fruitful. Yes, they were only increasing. All right. But when it came to Jacob, they have come to the level of multiplying. 
multiply multiple fold multiple fold manifold multiple blessings multiple all, all, all of that and, uh, isaac had four wives 12 children <laughs> 13 children the lady dinah who you know was there her name was not mentioned in the blessing of god because she was a woman and all of that praise god now it became multiplied that the multiplied blessing followed them into egypt yes and then after many years, Jesus, the promised seed, appeared on the scene. Now, when you now get to Galatians chapter 3, verse 14, he said that we might enter into the blessing of Abraham. What blessing? The blessing in Genesis chapter 12, and that one in Genesis 1, 22 and 28. Now, Jesus the maker and the giver of blessing now appear in human form praise the name of the lord he now appear in human form to now confer an eternal blessing upon the people and then the bible says john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life now the eternal life there is not just talking about us going to heaven sweet bar and buy after we have gotten born again suffered in this world and all of that that eternal life involves being prosperous here, being fruitful here, multiplying here, and being blessed here, and then eternity in heaven. So that's why I made that statement, that the blessing that God is bringing upon us, that the blessing that God has prepared for us, that the blessing of Abraham is actually an eternal blessing. Not because of Abraham, but because of Jesus. We enter into that blessing of Abraham in Jesus Christ. And then in Jesus Christ, because it becomes an eternal blessing. Do you know why? Because Jesus is an eternal king. So as long as he reigns, we tap into that blessing and it becomes eternal. So for instance, if I, Emmanuel, step into that blessing, the blessing becomes transgenerational for me. It means it transfers from me to my children and children's children and children's children and children's children. It becomes eternal until the Lord returns and then we begin to we keep enjoying it in heaven. Did you hear what I said? Did you understand what I said? So the blessing that God is bringing for you He's not just bringing it, amen. He has brought it, amen. But as you step into it, it becomes transgenerational. So let me now read at this point, Genesis 1, 22 and 28. Let's go there. And God blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let fowls multiply in the earth be fruitful he blessed them the blessing came first the blessing confers fruitfulness that's why you will read in scripture it says the fruit of your body is blessed now until thank you father for the blessing until the blessing comes fruitfulness is not in view until the blessing is proclaimed, multiplication is not possible. Understand it. You don't first pray for fruitfulness. You pray for the blessing. You ask for the blessing. And then when the blessing is released, fruitfulness follow, multiplication follow. Look at verse 28 also. And God blessed them, thank you, Father, and said unto them, be fruitful. Now, I read one of um, Reverend Kenneth E. against books. Now, he, he, he tried to explain B, B E in scriptures to mean that B there means be being. Uh -huh. It means that be fruitful and keep being fruitful. Thank you, Father. So we have 
the blessing. And then the blessing says, be fruitful, be being fruitful, keep being fruitful. So, because I am a carrier of the blessing, everywhere I go, I must, it's a must, be fruitful. I must multiply, it's a must. I must prosper, it's a must. I must replenish, it's a must. I must have dominion. Not that I'm forcing people to uh, oppress them in dominion, no. Naturally, they submit to me because of the enormous blessing. Look at Abraham. His neighbors hated him. But when he became prosperous, they came to him. Let's sign an agreement with you that when you have become a strong man, you will not attack us. They did the same with, what's his name? Isaac. Isaac too became so prosperous that the feeling sins envied him. But they came back to submit to him. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, thine enemies shall submit to thee. What power? The power of the blessing. Did you get it? Now, I want you to understand this thing before I proclaim that blessing and that fruitfulness upon you. My friend, you will enjoy super fruitfulness today. Super, super, super fruitfulness today. Super, super, super fruitfulness today. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will make you fruitful. Everything you lay your hand upon to do today and this week shall experience fruitfulness. Hallelujah. It shall come to fruitfulness. Look, you will be so fruitful that it will shock you. Your fruitfulness will even shock your neighbors. Hallelujah. It will shock them. So, I am praying the fruitfulness of God upon you. <laughs> In the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. The fruitfulness of God is upon you. As you go today, you are blessed. You are a blessing. You are fruitful. You will multiply. You will prosper. Whatever tree that you have planted before, whatever business you have set up before, whatever venture you have set up before, that is not experienced fruitfulness, pa, pra de ita baha, ma zege deri anda, brodo ita bahanda, brada sita gaba, ma zege deri anda, I proclaim the fruitfulness of God. The blessing of God upon that business, upon that planting, upon that tree. Be fruitful now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree let your body be fruitful now. Let your mind be fruitful. You see, that's why it starts from your mind. Once your mind is fruitful, your life becomes fruitful. When your life, be when your mind becomes fruitful, that you see you can think straight, that you can see better, that you have sound mind, fruitfulness supernaturally follows. <laughs> Praise God. So as you go today and this week, you will enjoy supernatural fruitfulness. Not only that, you will enjoy fruitfulness naturally. In reality, your life will be fruitful your body is fruitful, your business is fruitful, your home is fruitful, your children are fruitful, your spouse is fruitful. Everything you lay your hand upon to do within the confines of righteousness will be fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. Listen, even if that is a cause of poverty upon you, Galatians 3 verse 13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a cause for us, because the law says, curse is anyone that hangs on a tree. Jesus hung on a tree for you. 
that the cost might be removed. Sorry, that the cost might be redeemed. I've said it several on this platform. Courses can be broken. Yes. I know you have attended meetings called breaking courses and uh, all these things. You can't break courses. <coughs> you can't break covenant. <coughs> Both courses and blessings are eternal. They are spirits. Once a blessing is proclaimed, it becomes spirit. All right. What can be done? to the cause it can only be redeemed and Christ hath redeemed us the Bible didn't say Christ broke, broke the cause it says he redeemed us from the cause of the law what did he do by his blood he bought us out of the cause the cause is still there hanging but because I have surrendered my life to him is now my Lord and Savior. I have been redeemed, removed from that cause. Redeemed by His blood. The cause is still there hanging for as many as want to fall under the cause. So you see, causes can be broken. Covenant can be broken. God said, I will not break my covenant with my servant Abraham and David. They don't be deceived. Causes can, the cause can be in a family form. Thousands of generations. But if somebody will step out and say, mm -mm, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, that person alone and his generation is, is redeemed from the cause. So even if there is a cause of poverty upon you, as long as you are a child of God, you can step into the blessing and begin to enjoy it. And I proclaim upon your life today, the blessing of God is upon you. That blessing will redeem every cost, bring you out of the cost, and make you a blessing, and make you fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord God of heaven will make you fruitful. In the name that is above every name, the name Jesus Christ, the blessing of God will make you fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you go today, you are fruitful. You will return fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going fruitful. You are returning fruitful. In the name that is above every name, the name Jesus. Glory to God. You will be, you are fruitful today. Not, not that you will be, you are. All right, because it, the blessing of fruitfulness has been imparted upon you. It's been infused into your gene. You now carry the blessing gene inside of you. Amen. You now carry the blessing gene, the blessing, the gene that makes people blessed. You now carry it in the inside of you. Hallelujah. You are not just going to carry it. You are, you've been carrying this in the day you gave your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You must understand this, my friend, that you are a carrier of the blessing. And because of that, you are entitled to the blessing. Glory to God. You are entitled to the blessing because you are a child of God. Every child of Abraham is blessed eternal. And especially as those who will come through Jesus. Even the earthly seed of Abraham, Israel, is blessed. How much more? How much more? The spiritual seed or seeds of Abraham. So as you got the day, you are blessed. That's the word I have for you. You are blessed. You are fruitful. You are blessed. You are fruitful. You are blessed. You are fruitful in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are going to have a fruitful week. You are going to have a blessed week in the name of Jesus. This week is blessed for you. This week is fruitful for you in the name of Jesus. This week is blessed for you. This week is fruitful for you in the name that is above every name. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Now I'm about signing off. Uh, let me leave you to go do your legitimate business. Uh, I've done mine or let your legitimate businesses. I've just done mine by uh, speaking God's word upon your life. Hallelujah. Now, help me share this video uh, all across our social media platform. Like, comment, share. And then and follow if you are not following me yet. Follow uh, if if you are watching this um, on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe, and all of that. Tomorrow I'm going to be on TikTok by 7 a.m. West African time. That one is an hour meeting, more than an hour meeting. I have a lot, of, a lot of time, long time to speak and and pray for people. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are not following me on TikTok too, please do so. Help me share this video. Let it go viral. Let people know that God see bless people. Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell another person about Apostolic Great Broadcast and the Lord God of Heaven. We bless you. You are, you are going to have a fruitful week in the name of Jesus Christ. This week shall be fruitful for you. This week is abundantly blessed for you. You are blessed as you go. You are blessed as you come. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything about you is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you blessed. I declare you fruitful. I declare, I declare multiplication upon you. I declare you prosperous. That sickness is healed. That wound is healed. That pain is gone. You are made whole by the stripes of Jesus. I commend you to I commend you to the word of His grace, which is able to keep you uh, from falling and give you an inheritance among the saints. May the Lord bless you. May He keep you. May He make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May He lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. You will have the peace of God round about. Now go in this thy might, return with miracles and testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Emmanuel Adeyomoye. I just want to be a blessing. God bless you. Have yourself a beautiful week.